rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you learn something from this? The oscillating emotions and journey of the audience ever since the marketing snippets of Bola have dropped are the range of emotions that can best describe a toxic relationship. Its red flags are evident upon first meeting you get excited for the thrills that it presents, you become hopeful of something new and unpredictable and as soon as one spends more time and pays attention to the finer details, one limits their expectations and distances themselves. So has been the case for me regarding Bola's announcements, its teaser dropping and the final releases of the trailer and songs. Of skepticism yet hopefulness despite being a remake of the exhilarating Kaithi. All because of the technical prowess and potential of Ajay Devgan the director who is not intending to create a scene to scene remake or at least I thought so. The film focuses on Bola played by Ajay Devgan who is released from jail after serving a 10 year sentence with the sole purpose now with this new lease of life to unite with his daughter that he has never met due to unforeseen circumstances he has handed over a mission by IPS Diana Joseph played by Tabu to transport several policemen who have been drugged and are in dire need of medical assistance the bounty on the heads of the policemen who have carried out a massive drug bust leads to several gang members making sure that the truck driven by Bola doesn't reach its desired destination the exhilarating journey and the conflict that arises leading to several action set pieces forms what is essentially ajay devgan's rendition of kaithi here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of the film so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to watch bola in theaters or not cinematography and production design the technical prowess of ajay devgan the director just cannot be discounted while there are several problems like most ajay devgan films with the writing specifically the screenplay of the film you know when you're stepping in for an ajay devgan directorial venture it's going to be technically strong i fear that the movie would be extremely cgi heavy with its backdrops and setting where it would take away from actually feeling like it's set in up but that's far from the truth the cinematography by asim bajaj capturing the initial portions of up with tabu's chase sequence bhola's origin story the several action sequences captured across the journey and especially the portrayal of Varanasi across the edge of the river as the festivities and puja commence is a sight to marvel at on the big screen this especially stands out in the penultimate action set piece as the shiva statue becomes the backdrop and ajay warrior mode annihilates everyone halt in the screenplay and jarring item song one of the strongest qualities of a film like kaithi is the inference to dilli's origin story is simply through a tale told by him and one assumes the visuals of what may have transpired The emotional core of the film is the longing Dilli has for his daughter and it is conveyed beautifully by Karthi's performance. The storytelling works and depends on the inference and the conviction of the actor rather than spoon-feeding the audience with why, what and where through a song. This is where Nazar Lag Jayegi plays and one understands Bola's origin, his riz ability to get the girl, him being of influence versus the original where he is below the poverty line and this halts the proceedings of what was otherwise an engaging action film the romantic core exists even in the original movie but it never deviates the journey and never causes the audience to assume that this might be the perfect opportunity for a loop break an element that also feels unnecessary in bola is to showcase an item song called paan dukaniya where the intention is to only introduce the villains specifically deepak dobriyal and his crew as unhinged animals and aids nothing to the storytelling the song is not even peppy to be entertaining and the choreography is of the girl drop kicking the pervs that surround her i wonder why ajay devgan believed it to be necessary to integrate music in this film when a venture like drishyam 2 without music still connected and thoroughly engaged audiences mixed bag with action The only unique quality of this film as compared to Kaithi is its execution of action along the journey to the hospital and the fact that the biryani is now replaced with tandoori chicken. This actually was my biggest trigger to watch the film as Ajay Devgan really has a keen interest in capturing unique action choreography. Sadly, what one assumes Ajay will be strongest at is a mixed bag. Some of the action lands really well but some of it is choppy and incoherent to say the least. For example, the introduction of Tabu in a fast-paced chase sequence is brilliantly captured, but the much talked about bikes chasing the truck is not only poorly executed but edited so haphazardly that it barely leaves any impact. 
Ajay Devgan referenced this as his version of Mad Max and it's packed with many kuch bhi moments of punching the bike away in mid air with his bare hands the CGI is very apparent and especially Ajay playing a road rash but its choreography being lackluster at best There are three sequences though where Ajay shines and it is when he goes in supreme mortal combat mode breaking bones when he uses his trishul to kill goons in the penultimate sequence and finally becoming more or less a superhero while rescuing Tabu. I wished for a more consistent quality in action but it is not the case with this film. Hit and miss comedy and standout cast members. The funniest element of this film is Karchi who joins Ajay and Tabu along the journey being referenced as Chammach, Belan and Patila he is frustrated at the turn of events that have occurred and offers great comedic relief in the film however some of the dialogue sprinkled across the screen they would mostly generate crickets one of the goons telling Deepak Dobriyal andar bahut dark hai night hai to andar dark to hoga hi aur Deepak inquiring about Bhola asking jail se aaya hai ki gym se Sanjay Mishra also has his naturally funny moments but I've come to the conclusion that he can leave a mark no matter in what film he features in tabu is formidable in her role really shining at points of physical combat but i felt was mostly in autopilot mode just mouthing her dialogues rather than being fully invested in the characters around her Ajay's attempt was to showcase his villains as batshit crazy and Vineet Kumar as Nithari and Deepak Dobriyal as Ashu as standouts. Dobriyal especially as the unhinged coke fiend has several intimidating moments. In my personal opinion however, I prefer the portrayal done by Arjun Das that was far more scary than this one. The science behind Mass and the soul of the original film. The consistent problems with Ajay Devgan's directorial ventures continue with this film as well where the set pieces stand out but the cohesive structure of the film is as banal and straightforward as ever. You remember talking about Runway 34 and how it would have been such a clever and crisp thriller had it just not presented the storyline in a chronological order? Bola also drags along a similar path of expected beats where one who is privy to the original source material will find nothing particularly original or inventive other than the demonic ways in which the villains are styled and one more important point Ajay Devgan as Bola is presented as this larger than life unbeatable force to be reckoned with He is stoic to the point of barely even breaking down when met with the memory of his lover and child he has not met But Kaithi on the other hand was always the underdog and broke down several times thinking about the union he will have with his daughter beautifully in one scene referencing her physical features and how similar she is to her parents this longing for the child this father daughter bond that keeps the protagonist going is missing in this film While Ajay is brilliant in his physical ability to execute action scenes, I think the soul of the film was lost as Ajay is presented as this larger than life enigma in this movie, constantly assisted and annoyingly so with a voice over describing his qualities and so intimidating that even leopards run away in fear. The vulnerability and weakness of Bola was missing and I feel like this was a result of the trappings of Star Service versus aiding the character. There is a science to elevating a character and still making it human with complexities and I think Lokesh has mastered that with ventures like Kaithi and Vikram the lackluster score in Bola by Ravi Basroor with some rudimentary staging and editing in parts which should have immediately generated hooting and cheering otherwise becomes a huge drawback for this film Bola like most Ajay Devgan directorial ventures is technically adept but routine in its screenplay one can only enjoy or be engaged with this film if they haven't seen Kaithi Despite some good performances and interesting ideas, it's not a knockout at all like its original source material. And that was the video guys. Write it down in the comments below what you thought about Bola. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle's right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.